Last week I made a video about Rescue Rangers 1 and Rescue Rangers 2 on the NES and I was wondering why Capcom never made a Game Boy version of that game. Because they had a habit of porting most of their NES games to the Game Boy and bring an experience that was very close to the NES version. Uh, they did it with a lot of their games, such as DuckTales 1 and DuckTales 2, Darkwing Duck and Tailspin, Mega Man 2, but there were also games that they didn't port, such as Adventures in the Magic Kingdom, which kinda sucks, because it's not a very good game, so you really wouldn't miss it, but sadly Rescue Rangers 1 and Rescue Rangers 2 were not ported. So I've been thinking and maybe it has something to do with the screen resolution and the amount of pixels that are available on the Game Boy screen. It's not a lot when you compare it to the NES. So let's take a look at Photoshop and see how things compare. So this is a picture of Darkwing Duck on the NES. Let's find out what its resolution is. It is 256 by 224. Okay, that's all very nice. What about the Game Boy version? On the Game Boy it is 160 by 144 pixels. Okay, well, let's do the math and see how it compares. I discovered there are two different vertical resolutions on the NES. 224 pixels or 240 pixels. Uh, I think this may have something to do with the PAL versus NTSC difference. In the worst case you have a resolution of 57,344 pixels. And in the best case, uh, 61,449 pixels. Whereas the Game Boy only gives us 23,040 pixels. So when we start dividing those resolutions, uh, in the worst case, the factor is 2.49. And in the best case, it's 2.67. So, um, yeah, we have to approximate this because, um, well, when you calculate it, you get these numbers here. Um, so, yeah, let's just say for sake of uh, convenience that the factor is about two and a half times. So the NES screen is two and a half times bigger than the Game Boy screen. Well, that is quite significant. This is Darkwing Duck with a border drawn around it. We have the Game Boy screen. And we've got a black border. And this border kind of represents the uh, excess space that we would have had on the NES. This is just the additional screen real estate. Because this is the NES screenshot. Now let's um, add this border. You see it is cropped quite a bit. But it still kind of sort of works. We can also just superimpose the Game Boy screen on the NES screen and see how this kind of scales. As you can see with a little bit of adjustment Capcom was able to make this work. Now here is DuckTales and DuckTales also has the same uh, resolution. Now we take a look at the Game Boy screen and notice how um, there's a lot of vertical space here and also here. And on the Game Boy it's significantly cropped, but the design still works. We can do kind of the same thing here. Just add this border. And for Tailspin I have a screenshot from uh, the third stage of the game. Uh, this is a boss that takes up a lot of screen real estate. But notice how they were able to make this fit on the Game Boy screen. They were able to just kind of shrink this down because here is quite a bit of space, some extra sprites, some extra things that stack on top. There's some space here. And on the Game Boy they were able to just kind of squeeze this down. And in comparison it well kind of looks like this. It all seems to work out really nicely. So now Rescue Rangers. As you can see with Rescue Rangers the character sprites are very small. Uh, they are like small Mario whereas uh, with Darkwing Duck and DuckTales uh, it's more like Big Mario. The enemy sprites are significantly bigger and especially here the scenery is quite big. Uh, it requires a lot of screen real estate. 
And well, if you take a look at some uh, footage later, you will see that they really utilize a lot of the screen. So let's add this border and make this monochrome. And you can see that the two character sprites no longer fit on the same screen. So yeah, they would considerably have to swing things down and possibly redesign it to make it work. As you can see, uh, Rescue Rangers um, would require perhaps some vertical scrolling, whereas the other games, uh, they were able to do that without any vertical scrolling of the screen. Everything could just kind of be shrunk and it would still kind of fit and work with the same game mechanics. But with Rescue Rangers, well, they just could not do that. They would really have to uh, scroll things vertically and it would really mess up the game mechanics. So let's take a look at some gameplay footage and analyze that for a bit. There is a lot of stuff going on, especially with those sprites here. Uh, those enemies, they are quite big. And maybe we can go to a section that possibly would have worked on the Game Boy, like this bit for instance. Uh, if they had a few rows less, they could perhaps scale it down. But this uh, part, on the other hand, really requires a lot of that vertical real estate. Like this, for instance. Uh, you see how much space there really is and how much they use it, because all the objects are quite big and the character sprite is small. So yeah, that is just significantly different to Darkwing Duck in that regard. And also to DuckTales, where you don't have these big objects on screen. Another uh, area where scaling would have become difficult. Imagine having this scene with vertical scrolling and not seeing the complete picture like you see it here. Um, yeah, it just wouldn't work. And I think this kind of explains why it just wouldn't work on the Game Boy. So that was it. Um, that was kind of a short uh, impromptu video about um, well, why Rescue Rangers possibly wasn't ported to the Game Boy. Um, actually, I think the answer is quite simple. It just has something to do with the screen real estate in relation to the game's mechanics. Uh, remember that the NES screen is two and a half times bigger than the Game Boy screen in terms of resolution. So uh, Rescue Rangers really is a game where they use up all that screen real estate and where they also really need it. And with the other games such as DuckTales, Darkwing Duck, Mega Man, uh, Tailspin, they don't necessarily need that much space. They were able to shrink it down and the game mechanics still work and you still have the same experience. So uh, with that being said, I hope you enjoyed it and thanks for watching. Bye bye.